In a prior video, I showed you how to diagnose problems with your dishwasher. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the fill valve. To replace the fill valve, you'll need an adjustable wrench, a screwdriver, and a pair of slip joint pliers. So there's a wire harness that clips on, uh, this adapter connects, and then you just connect your water supply directly onto it. Um, it's accessible on this side of this dishwasher. Um, to get into the dishwasher, there's an access panel on the front. I'm going to take a, a flat blade screwdriver, and there's two little clips down here um, that you're going to just twist about 90 degrees to gain access. So there's one on this side, twist it 90 degrees, pull it out, one on the other side, twist it 90 degrees, and pull it out. Then we take out this cover, there's a bunch of insulation attached to the back, I'm just going to set that aside, and then when we get in here what we can see is the fill valve here on the left side, it's attached with the screw here. Um, and then the hose, the fill hose, is attached here. I'm going to put a bowl under here because I'm expecting some water to come out anyways when I disconnect. I'm going to use a crescent wrench to disconnect the water supply. Uh, we'll disconnect the wire harness and disconnect this screw. And then put the new one in place and reconnect everything. So when you're tightening this, you want to make sure you're holding this brass fitting to react the tor torque of the wrench, because otherwise it's going to go up through the brass fitting into the plastic, and you could crack the, the plastic. So just hold the brass in place while you're tightening to make sure 
So I'm pushing against the wrench to make sure I don't crack that plastic. All right, and that's all there is to it, uh, to replacing that fill valve. Reinstalling the access panel. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button so others can find it and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my website, natefixesit.com, and check the description of this video for links to the tools and parts that I use to complete the job.